guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Chef Sporty, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I have a special guest named Rainbow. She is very frequent on this show. So anyway, what will we be making? We will be making a cookie pizza. Yeah, so I'm really excited because like we haven't watched a video on this. We've just um, like we just saw a picture and just decided like we do it like just it's kind of confusing, <laughs> but we're just gonna go off what we think. So, and we'll like, it's kind of like us just trying it out, but it's also kind of a recipe. So if you want to follow this along, you can too. So let's go to Rainbow with the ingredients. You can have any kind of candy on your pizza, but for example, we're having Reese's Pieces, Reese's Cups, and by the way, these candies, they're going to be like toppings. So yeah, just that. Mr. Good Ball, M&M's, um... We don't know how to pronounce this, yeah. but yeah, just candy. Um, um, this is for like the pizza sauce. Yeah, with frosting. Make sure to get whipped because it's super creamy and good for it. Sprinkles if you want some, and you kind. Flour. We are gonna show that why well, you need that in a minute. Dough. We have this so that we can like spread it across this. Make sure you cut it in half if you want some yes, medium. This is really big, so we're using this knife. But make sure that you be very, very careful when using it. Safety, people. Yes. Safety. And then, what is this? A pizza pan. And pizza. it's not very thick at all. It's just like really short. Yeah. So that's good. So I guess we'll go on to the first step. Don't forget to watch the pause, 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 and hook. Make sure that your counter is completely clean and completely dry, like super dry and clean. Because we use bleach and then dish soap. Make sure you wash your hands after using bleach. And then yeah, don't have the bleach touch your hands or don't like digest it. So yeah, and then so make sure it's perfectly clean and perfectly dry. Preheat your oven to 350. It's the other way. Dang it. When this light turns off, this is just for our oven, but when this light turns off, it'll be ready. And don't forget to um, check your oven if there's nothing in it. Yes, it looks a little burnt. Yeah. Don't forget to sprinkle flour on but the But don't cow. put too much. This is just so it doesn't stick. Don't put too much. Like, this is kind of enough. But and you can redo, you can put more and more on if you need yeah. it. But you don't want your cookies tasting like flour. So, yeah. There's Quirky. Okay, so now we're gonna cut this in half because it's like really big. Yeah. So here we are using chocolate chocolate chip cookie dough by Toy House. This is not sponsored. So we have like a little slit already because, yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna cut this. It's kind of tough. Oh my gosh, there's cookie dough getting <laughs> cookie everywhere. Dough. I'm so bad at this. If you're unsure whether to use this knife, make sure that you use adult supervision, but dang. It's big. Yeah, and then... So we're gonna use half of this. Do not put your other hand in front of the knife. You will cut it off. Yeah, okay. So the weird voice. I'm gonna. Um, we're gonna work this dough, and then add it right here and put it in a circle. This yeah. is like a lot of like flour. Okay. Anyway, we're just gonna like show you what gets done, and then yeah. This is how you knead the dough. Yeah, so you just keep on working it in the flour until it gets really soft. Yeah, it's like really soft. Now we're gonna spray it with this olive oil spray so it doesn't stick. Even if if it's a non-stick pan, yeah, still do it just in case. Okay, sprayed it pretty good. Okay, let's move on to the next step. So we, it won't like work on the counter because it kept on sticking. So we're just gonna knead it onto this. On um, the pan, Heats and also it'll be. And pro tip: don't do it right next to here because the spans are probably like right here, basically. So we're just gonna like spread it out until it's good. Now are that it, it is preheated, yeah, I guess we're gonna bake it for twelve. Wait, no, it says twelve to thirteen 12 minutes. Teams. So we're gonna put twelve minutes and thirty seconds. So we're just gonna pop that three fifty degrees. Make Did you guys sure put it in? Because I'm in. Make sure you ask an adult to put the thing in if you're unsure. Yeah. 
Well, I don't want to clean this mess. Ooh, Spotty, I'm going to go shopping. Can't believe I have to clean this mess. Unbelievable. This is nasty. Unbelievable. Tisk tisk tisk. Oh my god. Wait. There was a disaster. Well, at least I got the beautiful onions. Yum yum. Mm -mm. Oh no, Rainbow's here. Hello. Give me a back second, please. I'm home. Who, who, who left that out? Sporty. Oh no. Yeah. Okay, you got me. Wait, look at that. Hmm? Only two minutes left. Almost the deliciousness. Okay, so we put the towel down and we got this out of the oven. So now we wait for it to like settle just a little bit. We're gonna take it out and put it on something else to decorate. And then we're gonna decorate it like after it completely cools off. So now we wait. Now we're gonna scoop it up. So be very careful or else it might crack and break. Oh, nice. Now we're gonna decorate the pizza. Open it up. The delicious. <laughs> And we're gonna use this to put it on like shots. So here we go. Rainbow will start. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> eat <that> crap. <laughs> Ooh, it smells good. It does. It smells like a giant cookie. It's like pizza, sauce, and then toppings. Grammy and Eminem. Hey! No eating until we're done. Okay, we'll show you what it looks like after frosting. Looking fresh. Yummy, yummy. So we're gonna pour this ultra fine orange one like pepperoni. Hopefully I don't do too much because... A little too much, um. Okay, now we're gonna add the fixings. Yeah. We're gonna start with half of it will be Lindor and M&Ms. Nice, so we're gonna like cut them in half. And then put them on this little so me. This is what the truffles look like. So half, and then we're gonna do one fourth Mr. Goodbar, and then one fourth Reese's, and then just all M &Ms. M and M's. Okay, yeah. so let's get started. Mr. Goodbar side completed. Now for the Reese's. Now for the Reese's. So we're probably gonna like make them in half, and then put them on there so that they'll fit. And then yeah. Now for the delicious M and M's. <laughs> okay, let's start with the M and M's. Don't put too much. Be very. Go drip, drop. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna start cutting it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so probably right here, in between there. So hard. Ooh, crunchy. Wait, let's just only do it for the pieces of the people that want it. So I kind of want like yeah. I'm not gonna eat my whole part because you know it's almost bedtime. I don't really have a bit time, but I don't want to stay up all night. So, yeah. For sure? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll have, like, half of this. I'll just eat half of that, probably. But not right now. <laughs> okay, we'll show you when it's done cutting. Okay, so here's mine. Oh, no. I guess I... I don't know what I'm gonna... How I'm gonna eat it, but... Okay, I didn't cut mine. Looks pretty good. And so, here's the final result. Mm, it was really good, and we kind of mm -hmm. ate some of it, but yeah. So, yeah. we hope you enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. We'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.